Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, Antonelli. All right, so the fireworks are going off. The shots have been fired. Nobody's holding any punches, and I love it. I think this is exciting stuff. Cody Bellinger, I don't know if you guys saw it yet. Today at spring training, at his locker, had some comments on the Houston Astros, on Jose Altuve. We're going to get into all the comments. I'm going to give you my thoughts. Um, but I'll start with this. I like it. Okay, if, if I felt like I deserved a World Series ring, and I felt like somebody stole it from me because they were cheating, I would be pissed just like Ballinger's pissed, and you can tell that he is not, not happy, not only by his words, but he just looks like he wants to rip someone's head off, which, which I enjoy. And I think more and more people, more players are going to start to come out about this, especially as we get into spring training here, and especially as more and more players kind of filter into spring training over the next couple of days. So this will be exciting stuff to watch, okay? Um, so let's first talk a little bit about what Bellinger said exactly, and then I'm just going to give some points on on each of the things uh, that he brought up. So the first thing, he starts off by saying that he thought the he goes, I thought the apologies were whatever. I thought Jim Cranes was weak. I thought Manfred's Manfred's punishment was weak, giving him immunity, and uh, and I agree on all three counts on that one. Um, he also says the Astros have been cheating for three years. People don't realize that Altuve stole the MVP from Judge in 2017. I do think most people um, have thought about this and actually do realize it, but um, I get it. He also said, everyone knows they stole the ring from us, okay? And it has come out, right? Originally, it was that they cheated during the 2017 season, but not in the playoffs. And then more recently, it has, it has come out that they also cheated in the playoffs and even in the World Series. Now, I've got a video coming out in a little while about Correa. Correa talked a lot at his locker and he was pretty adamant that they didn't cheat during the playoffs and in the World Series because they said the system wasn't working well and teams were catching on and it was loud and all that stuff. Um, and then they said, well, were you trying to? And he didn't really say a whole lot about that. I still think they were doing it, but whatever. Regardless, if I'm Bellinger, I feel cheated out of a World Series ring knowing what the Astros did while playing my team in the World Series. Okay. Um, also, I'd, I'd love to hear from Aaron Judge and to see his thoughts on this. Because, again, if, if I was that close, if I was that close to winning an MVP and I knew that I lost to someone that knew what pitches were coming was on a completely unfair playing field, and I had the best year of maybe my life, and hopefully he gets back healthy again, and I think he could be an MVP candidate every year if he can stay on the field because he has that much talent. But regardless, I'd be livid. I would be pissed. And so I'd like to hear if, uh, if he came out and talked about that. Um, let's see, what else? Here's some other things that he said. He said, personally, I lost respect for those guys. Everyone in the show in the big leagues, lost respect for those guys. So my question is, here's a question for you guys actually in the comment section below. How long is it going to take? How many batters into the into spring training is it going to take before one of the Astros is drilled like right in the ass? That's what I want to know. So how many, how many batters are going to get up before someone gets hit? And then let's say, who's it going to be? Who do you guys think is going to get hit first? Is it going to be Altuve? Maybe Bregman? I don't know. But put in the comment section below who you think is going to be the first guy hit by the Astros. And how many batters is it going to happen in the first game? I'm not talking about just like a ball that kind of gets away from somebody. But I'm talking about a pitcher that says, I'm drilling you. You're going to know about it. Everyone in the ballpark is going to know about it. And here it comes. Like I'm talking about one of those right there. Um... So, comment section. How many batters and who's it going to be? Okay. Let's see. Oh, then he goes on and talks about Altuve's game-winning home run this past year to send the Astros to the World Series, the home run that came off of the Yankees in Araldis Chapman. He says, I don't know what human hits a walk-off home run against Araldis Chapman to send your team to the World Series 
and one has the thought to say, don't rip off my jersey. But two, to go in the tunnel, change your shirt, and then come out and do your interview. That makes no sense. Makes zero sense to me. I know me, Gary Sanchez said it yesterday, you can rip off my shirt, you can rip off my pants. I just sent my team to the World Series against Aroldis Chapman in the ninth inning at home. I'm going crazy. And I made a video about this after it happened, but this was the strangest thing. Right, that, th that don't rip my jersey off, and just the way he acted and his responses and kind of the giggling and then asking, what, can you repeat that question? When, when, um, when they asked him, why did he say don't rip off my jersey? And then he said, you know, he was shy. And then he goes in and changes his shirt. It just seems, it's so strange to me. And again, I know that Correa has come out, video coming soon, and he says, we, he looks right at the reporter, he says, we never used buzzers, we never used it. But that reaction is just so strange to me, I still don't know if I can buy it. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, I guess, that, so that, that was pretty much all he said, okay? And, and I'm looking forward to more and more players, I know that the, a pitcher for the A's just came out and said a few things, and again, I think more and more guys are going to come out and talk about this. Um, and this is going to go on for a while. And uh, and I'm making sure. I'm tuning in for that first Houston Astros uh, spring training game. I just might watch every Astros game this year because I think there's going to be fireworks all over the place. I think there's going to be. <laughs> I think every game is going to be interesting. And uh, wonder how many times uh, the Astros are going to be on national TV this year. I mean, everyone's probably scrambling to get them on there because everybody's tuning into those games. I know a lot of people are like, well, I'm boycotting baseball and I ain't watching. I don't know. I think a lot of people are going to tune in to see what, what happens there. It's turning into a soap opera. So that's all we got. Um, I've got a lot of people asking me. I did a video last night um, on the apology, you know, apology. And I've got a lot of people asking me about Correa's responses and my thoughts on those. And so I've got a video coming out soon. Keep it out. I might I keep your eyes out. I might put it up tonight. I don't want to put too many videos up. I know I'm getting a lot of people firing in questions asking me. I don't want to put too many videos out, um, you know, on the same day. But I just may since, uh, since there's so much stuff going on right now in Major League Baseball. Uh, with this whole thing. So that's all we got. Don't forget, hit the bell. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Share the video with all your friends. Thank you to all the patrons that have been uh, helping the channel, help supporting the channel on Patreon. I really, really appreciate all of your help. And that's all we got. We'll talk to you later.